Hello everyone, I think that we should now be live. If you can leave some comments, let me know if you are watching. I'm not quite sure what's going on for some reason on my screen. I look really quite bright. But then when I move away from the desk, it stops. It's very strange. So hopefully you are all joining us. Hopefully I've hit the right button and this is now going out live. There we go. There we go, I can see it on my screen, it all looks good on the screen, but for some reason on my iPad it looks very strange. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so give me two seconds, I'm going to put the other screen back in. I was so organised today, I've just been in and I've been in like, pinched some stuff from the shop next door, Abba shop by the way, <laughs> some glue because I didn't have any. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on with the lighting today, but we've put some soundproof in tiles up on the ceiling so i'm wondering if that's made the difference that's been my job this week i've been no more nails in those so yes hello everyone let me put some finished card samples in so that you can have a little look a little sneak peek at what's to come and um, while i go and try and resolve this so give me two seconds because i'm not quite sure what's happening i've got the ring light and everything on and um, so give me two moments i'm going to knock the sound off so that you don't hear me rustling in the background Right, there we go. I feel like that is looking better. Sorry, I look at a really awkward angle there. I'm just switching the iPad around. We've got all things going on here. So, how is everyone today? Is everyone good? Is the sound sounding good? Because like I say, we've got these amazing new soundproofing tiles up now, which hopefully should deaden the noise. Oh, I have a mic. No, I have turned the mic back on, so it's all good. Right, okay then. So, we love a little bit of excitement at a Facebook Live launch. I was honestly so organised. I came in yesterday, I was like, oh, I'll set the cameras up, get ready for this Facebook Live, got everything out, I've got a new heater, remote controlled, it's all going on in here today, trust me. It has been a full-on day. So, we have got lots of exciting things to tell you about. I'm just throwing things in the bin over there. Did just miss, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, we've got lots going on here at Chloe's Creative Cards. Um, so, as you know... We have got new products launching. We launched the bling boxes. I think it was last, was it last week the bling boxes launched? I can't remember. Um, I think it was last week that we launched the bling boxes and they've been going down amazing. You've all been loving those and it's great to see photos as well in the group, which I, it was the Stamps by Chloe group, but I renamed it yesterday the Chloe's Creative Cards group because I felt like that was a little bit more of a kind of an appropriate name for the group now because we do more than just stamps we have all different products and all different goodies going on now so yes it's been a full-on couple of weeks since we've been back at chloe's creative cards so i have been working in this in this room this week i've got my new chair which is all very nice very pink got my little die but i can't turn it around to show you i wish i could I'll put a photo in this in the Chloe's Creative Cards group after the live, but I've got my little die cutting station set up over here. So I've got all my die cutting machines and I've got um all my plates underneath. I actually made this from some IKEA craft, well just IKEA furniture, but I've kind of adapted it to um to crafting. So yes, yeah, very exciting. So that's all over at this side here. Um so yeah, and then I've got all the some new goodies behind me in the background. And I've got some storage as well for finished samples. So it is, it's all been going on. Um, and then, of course, we've been super busy with all of your orders from the sale as well. So if you haven't done so already, hop over at the website, clubbyscreativecards.co.uk and have a look in the January sale. So we've got some bargains. There's some things that are like up to 70% off, which is just ridiculous. But once the sale stock has gone, 
it's gone, okay? We won't be restocking those items. So just to let you all know, if you're like, mm, I'm on the fence, do I want this one? Go for it, because once it's gone, it will not be coming back, okay? So, oh, you are all loving my craft room. Thank you all so much. Let me have a little scroll through. I'm going to bring the iPad in. Two seconds, here we go. And I can see the comments, if they're a little bit closer to me. So, oh, hello, everyone. Everyone's so excited today. I can just see how many of you have joined me as well. So you must have all been waiting for this live. Thank you all so much. Oh, Hillary can see the binder in the background. There we go. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, hiya, Linda. Hiya, Claire. Oh, my word, there are so, so many comments. Okay, there we go. Right, okay, thank you, everyone, for joining me. Oh, the chair's getting a lot of attention. You're all loving the chair. This was a little online purchase that I made earlier in the week, but I felt like it was in keeping with the Chloe brand because it was pink. And it's got, it's actually been really hard to get one with silver legs, but this one's got silver legs instead of gold. So there we go. Um, Thank you all so much for your comments. Oh, Jan saying well done on the award. Thank you, Jan. So we, um, before the... Before the Christmas break in the Facebook Live, I announced um, the awards that we won in the Best of British Craft Awards, which is the Craft Beautiful one. But we've actually, we, we were awarded two more in the Craft Business Awards, which are like the Industry Awards. So we were awarded Highly Commended for Best Online Retailer, which was amazing. And I was awarded highly commended for Craft Influencer of the Year. So yes, thank you all so much for everyone who voted. That was amazing. That was such a surprise. Okay, I'm coming back to the binder, everyone. I know I'm just letting everyone join us. Just letting everyone build. Everyone kind of join in on the live. Okay, so I am so, so pleased that all of you have joined me today. So I thought I'd start off. I'm going to show you the bling boxes because I know that I haven't actually shown you those live, okay? I've teased them, I've used them in my demos, but I haven't actually shown you them. So I'm going to show you those first. I'm going to pop a little photo in because we've got some awesome new product photography and finished sample photography as well. So I'm absolutely making the most of that in, the, in this live, okay? So I'm going to pop this in to show you. So let me just, oh, I can't, there we go. So you can see the fabulous bling boxes there. So there are two different options in these. We have got the um, the Chloe's favourites. They're both Chloe's favourites because they're both pink and I love pink. You know, that is my favourite colour. Um, so we've got the Chloe's favourites. You've got the pearl option and you've also got the bling option as well, which is like the rhinestone. And these are absolutely gorgeous. I'm just getting them out of the box. Sorry if you can hear me rustling in the background, but I wanted to show you kind of the colours and everything because they are just incredible. Okay then. So let me pop the camera back. Oh, done it first time then. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> so when they arrive, they're going to come in their own little cardboard boxes like this. Okay. So you like get two here. Okay. And they are, they're just so cute. I just love them. And then when you open them up, you've got your fabulous bling boxes inside. Now, just to give you an idea of the size, that is my hand against the bling box there. Okay. These are absolutely jam-packed with bling and sparkles and pearls. These are going to be amazing for embellishing all of your projects. So this one's the pearl one, okay? I'm going to pop them on the overhead and I'll open them up as well. And then this one is the rhinestone one. So this is the proper bling stones, okay? So these are absolutely fab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this on the overhead camera because I've got that all set up. Let me open these up because these ones are brand new because I was like, well, I can't show you mine because they're half used and there's hardly any left in the box, which I felt, <laughs> I felt probably wouldn't look all that great, would it? <laughs> okay. So these are 11 99 each for anyone who's wondering. And you can grab them on the website, chloescreativecards.co.uk. There is actually a link on the homepage, I do believe. I think I set that live the other day. Um, yes, I'm making this look really difficult. It's really not that hard. Okay, so let's open those up and let's have a look. So let me pop these on the overhead. Let me pop these in. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So you've got your two boxes. You've got your pearl option, which is gorgeous. 
and you've also got your rhinestone option as well. So they're eleven ninety nine each, or there is a multi buy offer on the website as well, where you buy both of them for twenty pounds. So you do get a bit of a save in there. So if I open these up. We have jam-packed these with bling. And do you know what I love about these as well? All your storage has been thought about. So you've got your different sizes of bling stones in here. So I would have to, I do believe from memory, you get 8mm, 6mm and 5mm. But please don't quote me on that. Please check the website because all of the details are on there. So in your bling box, you get your lovely clear stones, which are the ones that we use all the time. You then get your pale pink stones. You get the raspberry pink stones and you get the clear AB as well. So the clear AB do look similar to the try to show you to the clear ones, but they've got that Aurora Borealis coating. So you get all of the different colours shining through with those ones, which is beautiful. Okay, so this is the first one. So this is your bling box. Let me pop the I've got a little bling stone cart look. There you go pop the lid and you've got the little clasp so it keeps them all nice and they've even got a little hook on the top so I know that some of you have like got pegboards in your craft room I've noticed in the Stamps by Chloe group so of course make sure you've got it firmly shut but you could hang it up on your pegboard as well okay the next one is this a beautiful pearl box so when we open this one up these are absolutely gorgeous so you've got like the soft ivory pearls in here and again you've got them in the three different sizes so you've got soft ivory you've got the pale pink you have got the raspberry pink and then you've got these ones which I, I am absolutely loving these ones these are the white ab pearls so they are absolutely gorgeous so if i just try and try to hold that up can you see how you've got the white pearl but it's got the ab coating on the top so these are really, really pretty, absolutely fab. So you can pick these up on the website. So like I say, these are eleven ninety nine dollars a box, or you can buy both boxes for £20, okay? And that is the offer that we've got on at the moment. There is actually a festive fancies box as well. So if you're making Christmas cards, we do have a Christmassy themed box too for the bling stones. So yes, please do pop over and have a look because those bling boxes are amazing. So let me pop you back on the other camera, okay? And I am gonna tell you all about what you have I've hopefully come to watch here. There we go, I'm trying. Let's try and get the <laughs> try to get the picture in two seconds. Sorry everyone. I'm very much out of practice, aren't I? I'm trying to do all the things. There we go. Okay, we're on. Do you know what? I've figured out why the picture went really bright as well. I think it's because I've touched something on the screen and it's changed the settings, so. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> I know that you have all joined me today to find out about the fabulous new binder. Now, a little bit of a, a little bit of a confession to start with. Okay, so we sent an email out. I think it was I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. So if you're on the mailing list, you will have got a mailing list on uh, an email on Tuesday morning telling you to tune into the Facebook Live to see the sneak peek of the new products that we are launching on the 1st of February. Now, unfortunately, between that email going out at 7 o'clock in the morning and me getting into work, um, I got a phone call at about half eight on Tuesday morning to let me know that the stock had actually been delayed. So we've got part of the stock here, but the, the crucial thing that's missing is the plastic pockets to go in the binder, okay? So hopefully, we haven't got a date yet, but I've provisionally put the date on the coming soon page as the 8th of February, okay? I, we talked about kind of doing pre-order from Monday, but I don't feel it would be fair to do a pre-order when we don't actually know when the stock is going to be in, in our warehouse here. So... I'm going to give you a sneak preview, tell you all to sign up to the mailing list, and then we will let you know when all of these fabulous goodies will be available. Okay, and of course, keep an eye on Facebook as well, because I'm always posting updates on there. So it's kind of like, I was so excited, then I was like, oh, I'm going to have to tell everyone that this is not going to be the first of Feb. But it just gives us more time to get excited about them and think about how we're going to fill these awesome binders up. Okay? So I'm going to show you an empty binder to start with that I've got behind me here and then I'm going to show you a full one as well because the full binder you are not going to believe what's inside it. So this is the empty binder here okay 
So you can see it is raspberry pink, black and gold, which are the Chloe's Creative Cards colours. The size of the actual binder is at about 11 inches square. Okay, so it's a really nice size. It's going to hold all of your 8x8 dies. We've got this fabulous handle on the top. And what we have actually done is we've reinforced the handle. So can you see how we've got these metal fixings? We've then had it studded in the top and sewn in as well. Because we know that you're going to fill these binders up and there is going to be a lot of weight in here. Okay, so that is the top of your binder. You've got the lovely little Chloe's Creative Cards plaque on the front here in the lovely gold with the black printed detail on. And then what we've also done is taken the Chloe's Creative Cards butterfly and added that in as the little zipper on the side here, okay? So we have really thought about this and I've thought about what I want from a binder. So this is made from PU leather as well. So it's like a, a plastic leather, but it feels really nice in your hands. It's perfect for wiping clean. So you can rub it over if you get any ink or anything like that on it. It is brilliant. And just to make it clear as well, we've done the back of the binder in black as well. So if it's sat on your work desk and you get any ink or anything on it, you're not really gonna see it, okay? So this is the binder. So then when you open this up, I'll zip it, I'll zip it round, give you the full effect, okay? So when it's all zipped up, you can see it's really gonna be nice and compact. It's gonna stack up perfectly in your craft room. If you wanted to make some little tags and kind of tie them on the sides, of course you could do, okay? But then when we open this up, so we grab the little zipper, unzip it round, and open it, okay? You have got your three ring binders in the middle. So this is gonna really hold and support your plastic pockets. And I'll explain all about how we're doing all of the insides and selling the, the inside pieces for this first. And then what we've also done, because I thought this was really useful actually, is I don't know whether you'll see on the camera, you'll see on the, on the one that I've filled up, I'm trying to kind of tilt this so you can get an idea. But you've got pockets, okay? So we've put these pockets in so you can either store little scraps of card in here, you could be storing some of your tools, you could store some of your die cutting plates, or you could also be storing um, your embossing folders as well, which is what I use mine for. And it's also got like a big pocket in here too, okay? So you can see you are going to be able to get so, so many uh, pieces and bits and pieces in here. I can just see there's a few questions coming in asking how many dies and how many pockets it will hold. Bear with me, I'm gonna to come to all that in a moment, okay? So this is the actual binder. So the binder on its own is $21.99, okay? We are selling the binder empty, and I'm gonna explain why in a moment, okay? So that is your binder, but we've got some launch offers coming up as well, so that's all very exciting. But I'll explain those in a moment. So this is your fabulous binder, okay? This is gonna be great for storing your dies and also storing your stamps as well. So what we've then done is we've really thought about this. So that's your binder. We've then come up with these pockets, okay? So we've got the lovely little storage binder pockets, okay? So these are sized for just over eight by eight in size, and these are gonna be brilliant for popping all of your eight by eight dies on. So when we open this up, you get three in the pack, okay? And we've ordered plenty of these, so hopefully we've got to have enough for the binders, okay? So we've put the little Velcro pouches on the side, and again, these are the little butterflies matching your zip pocket on the side, okay? And we've popped two on there, just to make sure that they're nicely held in place. When I was thinking about this, I didn't want to do press studs because I personally find them really annoying, um, and I can never press them down hard enough to get them to close. So we pop the Velcro on there so it's really nice and easy for you to open and close the pockets. Okay, I didn't want to kind of do the little cut out, cut out piece here where you tuck it under because again, I personally find that annoying. So to me, this was the best way to do this. So we've positioned the little butterflies here so that you're binding, you can still get your finger underneath to open the pockets, but it's not going to kind of flap about too much if that makes sense. Okay, so you get three of the plastic pockets in a pack. Okay, so that's your first little binder accessory, okay? So all of these come in packs of three. So that's your first one. The next one that we've got, this looks really boring, but it is magnetic sheets. Anyone who's bought our eight by eight die set, we have had these made exactly the same size as the magnetic that your die sets come on. 
So if you've bought any of those sets, they are going to fit into the plastic pockets, okay? So you are not going to need to buy these if you are going to put your 8x8 dies that you've bought from us in this binder, okay? So you get three of these in a pack. So again, if you want to put any of your other dies, anything like that, any because you do get a little tiny dies, don't you? And you're like, I'm absolutely going to lose that. Um, you can pop them on the plastic sheet, that on the magnetic sheet, sorry. That's then going to fit in the plastic wallet and that will all store really nicely on your binder, okay? So that's the first item. The next item that we've got are the stamp storage sheets, okay? So this is kind of like the complete option if you want to go for this. So you get your three plastic stamp storage sheets and these are white, okay? They are a really nice acrylic plastic, they're nice and thick. So these also fit into the pockets, okay? So if you wanna peel your stamps off, stick them on the plastic storage sheet and pop them in a pocket, you of course can do. This one's got a little bit of a, bit of a mark on there. This is one that I've had my grubby inky fingers on, okay? But you can see these are going to be absolutely brilliant for mixing and matching and popping into your binder, okay? So that's your plastic stamp storage sheet, okay? So all of those come in a pack of three, okay? They are $4.99 a pack, but if you buy three, we've got a mix and match offer on where you can mix and match, customise any three of the pockets, the stamp storage sheets or the magnetic sheets, and you'll get 20% off, okay? So, and that's gonna be an offer that we continue to run for quite a while after the binder's launch. So please do not worry about that. So all of those are going to fit into your binder, okay? But I think what we really want to see <laughs> is the one that I have filled up, okay? And when I say I filled it up, I mean I have filled it up to the absolute brim, okay? This binder, I actually really wanna weigh this on the postage scales. I really wanna know how much it weighs because there is so, so much within this folder, okay? You can see, if I turn that to the side, how much I've crammed in here, okay? So, are we ready for this? Right, I'm gonna unzip this one out now, okay? So when I open it up, here we go. You can see I've got my embossing folders stored in the side, and then I've got all of my dies and stamps at the other side here. And I have to say, this binder, okay, it has traveled from Durham down to Wales with a carrier and back, and these pockets still look absolutely brand new. So what we've done when we've done these pockets is we've made the actual, where it connects to the ring binder really, really strong. So we've strengthened the plastic there. So what that means is that um, it's going to be, it's going to support the weight of your metal dies. Because obviously we know, like you, your metal die sets that are the big nesting ones re are really heavy, basically. So we've kind of thought about all this, okay? So I'm going to turn this round and I'm going to pull out everything that I've got in here. Okay, so we have got eight by eight embossing folders, okay? Yes, these are coming soon. We've got those. We have got a cutting emboss folder. Again, this is a sneak peek, new design coming soon, okay? We've got another cutting emboss folder, okay? This is one of our six by six ones, again, coming soon. So you can see how we've got all of these goodies packed in to this, um, in this binder. So that's just in those little opening pockets at the front, though. <laughs> that, that's literally all I've taken out. So we've easily got four items crammed in there, okay? The next thing that we've got in here is I've taken my 8x8 dies, okay, and I've put them back to back. So I've got two die sets in one pocket, okay. So that's the first one. The next one, another two of the 8x8 dies in one pocket, okay. The magnetic sheets are single sided because again, I personally find that really annoying when I've got them on my craft desk. So I like prefer to take one out use it, put it back, take the other out, rather than having them both sides, okay? So, another one of the die sets, so back to back, okay? I've gone for two die sets in there. So it's got two magnetic sheets in one pocket, okay? And two sets of dies. The next one, I've taken some clear stamps. I've stuck those onto the storage sheet. And then on the back, I've put matching dies on a magnetic sheet, okay? Next one, again, to be fair, I've really could have filled that stamp plate up. Um, so again, we've got three stamps on the stamp storage plate. 
Then we've got the matching dies on the back here, okay, on a magnetic. And then finally, we've got another full set of dies. Well, actually, there's one, two, three sets of dies on that magnetic sheet and the stamps to match, okay? So it'll give you an idea of what I've fit on the stamp storage sheet. I've got my Rose Mallow stamps, I've got my Clematis stamps, and I've got my Happy Birthday Sentiment stamps, okay? So, in total, in my binder, I have got six plastic pockets in there, okay? So there are six pockets, absolutely jam-packed. But, I mean, if you imagine having all these individual packets, like you'd have three packs straight, well, four packs, because that's a separate die. So you'd, you'd have four packets for that one. You would have three packets for this one. You would have two packets for this one, but really I could have put a lot more on that plate, to be fair. That one's a little bit hard to empty. Then you've ha have had two packets for this die, two for this one, and two for this one. Okay, so you can see how everything just fits in there absolutely perfectly. So the amount of pockets that I've put in the binder is six, okay? But I've either gone back-to-back -back magnetic, magnetic stamp storage sheet. So in effect, you've got 12 of the storage sheets in there, but within six of the pockets. Does that make sense? Okay, hopefully that all makes sense. But you can genuinely see how much that you can cram in this binder. I really wanna like just throw it on the table <laughs> so that you can hear the weight in it, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think that will knock my tea over. So this is just gonna be awesome for organising your craft room, for getting yourself prepared, just, just to be able to craft and be organised. It's going to be fabulous. So, the whole concept behind this is you buy your binder empty, so your binder's $21.99, and then you decide which pockets you want to go inside. So if you've got any of our 8x8 nesting dies that come on the magnetic sheet, you just need to buy the plastic pockets to pop those in and they'll go straight in your binder because they are the right size. We've sized everything and we've really thought this through when we designed it. Okay, so if you were wondering, we are going to have some launch offers. So I'm going to pop those up on the screen now. So the first launch offer that we are going to have is where you get your binder. You then get one pack of your plastic storage sheets, one pack of your... um plastic storage sheets for your stamps and you also get one pack of your magnetic sheets so in effect you've got three full pockets there to go in your binder okay and that will be 28.99 so we're saving 20 percent against buying the items individually okay so that one is offer one okay and then i'm going to show you something else and then show you offer two so give me two seconds just to kind of reorganize and regroup here I'm going to pop my binder down there. I'm going to grab my cup of tea. I'm going to have a little drink, I think. There we go. Okay, so let me pop the camera back. Going this way? There we go. I'm absolutely getting to grips with this now. You can tell I haven't, haven't done a Facebook Live for about a month. <laughs> so I'm a little bit out of practice. Okay then. So we knew when we brought you a binder that we were going to have to bring you some awesome new dies to go in the binder. Okay, so we have got four brand new 8x8 die sets, okay? And if you love our layering dies, you are going to absolutely adore these because we've got brand new shapes, okay? So the first one that we've got is the 8x8 Decagon. So that is a 10-sided shape, so it's a bit like a hexagon, but I think it's a little bit more fancy, personally. I really like this one. So <laughs> the Decagon is awesome for creating shaped card blanks, obviously for your mats and layers, for creating frames as well. And I've got loads of finished card samples to the side of me that I'm going to show you with this one. So this is your Decagon. That's 8x8. Eight eight. The next one that we've got is the Fancy Decagon. So this is going to match in again perfectly with your plain Decagon shape. Lovely for your mats and layers. This actually, I am loving this as a shaped card blank. Okay. And I'm going to show you that on some of the finished samples today. The next one that we've got is the Fancy Rectangles 2. So you can see how this has got more of like a point in the corner and is slightly more rounded and bored compared to the previous rectangle. But again, absolutely gorgeous for creating your shaped card blanks. 
I mean, even if you wanted to die cut this, fold it in half and, and create like a card blank with it, you could do as well. Um, so these are absolutely fab. And then the next one is the Fancy Squares 2. And I think this one's going to absolutely fly out the door, okay? Because <laughs> everyone went crazy for Fancy Squares number one. So I felt like we needed a new shape to be matting and layering with. And this is absolutely gorgeous, okay? So the four brand new dies, again, as we always do with our dies, we've got an awesome launch offer. Again, I know I can see you in the comments, I'm going to have a little read through in a moment, but I can see that lots of you are asking when this is going to be launching, okay? So if you missed the start of the live, this was literally all planned. Well, to be honest, it was planned to launch in December. We were then hit with one delay, which was meant to mean that the stock was meant to come in beginning of Jan. And yes, we've been hit with another delay. Thank you, Brexit and everything that's going on with the ports at the moment. Um, but yes, it will hopefully be in very soon. So the plan was to launch this on the 1st of February. Now, because of the delays, we haven't actually got a date at the moment. So seriously, yesterday I was just like, I was, I was incredibly stressed yesterday, should we say. <laughs> I think that is absolutely fair enough to say. Um, so hopefully... We're aiming for the 8th of Feb. That is kind of the conditional day I've put on the coming soon page on the website. But please do, I've popped the link above the live. Go onto the website, chloe'screativecards.co.uk and sign up to the newsletter. You will literally, as soon as that stock goes on the website, you will get an email, okay? So we always put the stock live and send an email out straight away. So please do sign up to the mailing list and then you will literally never ever miss a launch or miss anything. Okay, so the awesome dies as well to go in your binder because come on, you're going to want to fill up with new goodies, aren't you, when you get it home. So I'm going to pop in the little launch offer that we have got for the dies. Okay, so we did this offer last time and you all loved it. So basically, you, the dies are all $24.99 each. They've got the magnetic storage sheet on there, okay, as well. So that's included with them. Um, it's $24.99 each, but if you buy all four, there is a bundle offer where you save 20% and you get them for $79.96. Okay, and these are going to be like those dies that you use all the time. We have engineered these to cut through two sheets of card. So you're going to be able to do your shaped card blanks with these. You are going to be able to do your easel cards, obviously for your mats and layers. They are going to be incredible. Okay, so they are absolutely fabulous. So those are the new nesting dies, okay? I'm gonna pop another offer in as well because it was kind of like, people might wanna go for literally everything, okay? So you might want a storage binding, you might want the dies, everything that you need, okay? So if you go for that offer, we've got another bundle. So the bundle here is you get the four brand new dies. You also get two packs of the plastic pockets okay so you get six pockets in total to fill your binder you then get one pack of your stamp storage sheets so that's three in total and then you get one pack of your magnetic sheets as well because you're not going to need all of the magnetic sheets we don't need to give you two packs you only need one because you get them included with the dies as well okay so you're going to get six plastic pockets three stamp storage sheets and three magnetic sheets along with all of your dies and you're also going to get one of the fabulous binders to pop it all into okay and the total for that will be 106 pounds okay and that is saving 25 percent against buying everything individually okay so if you are like chloe i cannot decide i need it all and i want to fill that binder up that is absolutely the option for you. But again, the binders will be listed individually on the website. So if you want to grab another binder, you can do. If you want to be adding more of the pockets, if you want to be adding more of the magnetics, if you want more stamp storage sheets, of course, they are all going to be listed individually, okay? So this is such an amazing way to kind of kickstart your crafting for the new year and get some new goodies home, but also get organised as well, okay? So I'm going to pop these to one side and I'm going to show you some finished samples. I feel really dangerous because I've got a cup of tea and lots of finished samples and craft items around me and that's never a good combination, is it? It's like if you're painting and I always like end up putting my paintbrush in my cup of tea. Absolutely disgusting, would not recommend. 
Okay then, so I've got some incredible finished samples to show you all from the design team. Now unfortunately, I did my finished samples with these and I've used products that aren't for sale yet. So I'm not gonna tempt you, I'm not gonna show you them. You'll just have to wait to see those ones, okay? So they will all be kind of arriving very soon. But I'm gonna show you these awesome samples that the DT have done first because they have used the Daisy collection, they've used the Winter Flower, they've used the Rose Mallow and the Clematis and they are fabulous. Now I do have some more, um, some more cards from Becca. Beckers are away being photographed at the moment. So we'll get those on the page very, very soon. Okay then. So the first one, is, do you know what I might put around the overhead? I think that's going to be easiest to show, isn't it? I'll pop them down here. Let me just have a little... There we go. Okay, so you can see this is... I think this is one of Barbara's. I love this card. I've been posting it everywhere. <laughs> so you can see how Barbara's used that fancy deck of Gondi. Okay, and she is created this fabulous card blank. Okay, so she's done all of her mats and layers. She's glittered the edges. And then she's used some of the beautiful and um, delightful daisy stamp and die to embellish there. Okay, really, really pretty. And you can see how that all comes together really nicely. But that shaped card blank is fabulous, isn't it? And if you stand it up, it stands up really nicely too. So uh, just gorgeous. I think sometimes it's nice to have something just a little bit different as well. So this is another one of the Decagon, Deca Decagons. This is going to be a real tongue twister to say, and I think... Oh, it's Barbara again. I thought it was one of Ruth's. This is one of Barbara's and you can see how she's used those beautiful little pink pearls in the middle. She's used the fancy Decagon dies around the outside and then she's used the Decagons in the middle for our mats and layers. Okay, let me grab another one. I love this one too. This is one of, this is one of Barbara's as well. Barbara's really gone to town here. You can tell that we're all kind of in our houses just crafting away <laughs> during the lockdown, can't you? You can just imagine there being like a trail of glitter from the craft room down the stairs. So you can see how she's created a beautiful 8x8 shaped card blank, okay? And she's used one of the Decagons to create a frame. So this is the fancy one. And she's covered that in our glass slipper glitter. Then she's added a little plaque into the middle and added a sentiment, okay? I can see that lots of you are asking about my pink mat in the background. It is on its way. Trust me, I, I cannot give any dates for anything at the moment because, quite frankly, nobody knows. So um, it will be available very soon, I hope. And again, just sign up to the mailing list and you'll never miss a launch, okay? Another one that we've got here is this one is one of Ruth's. And Ruth's done this all in navy, which looks really, really pretty. So you can see she's used that fancy decagon shape. And you can see it's a really kind of quite a striking die, isn't it? Really, really pretty. And then the next one, this is another decagon from Ruth. So she's created like a little wreath on the card there. And you can see how she's added all of the foliage in the background and done all of her mats and layers as well. So another one here, this one is one from Barbara. So Barbara's used the bling boxes actually to do all the different coloured centres of the flowers. So it just looks so, so pretty. And then she's used the Decagons to create a shaped card blank and do all of her mats and layers. Okay, this one, this is like so much bling, you almost need your sunglasses on to look at it. It is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the one of Glynis's cards, okay? And Glynis has used the Decagon, Decagon, I'm really going to get my words in a twist out uh, with that one. The Decagon again, and she's used the beautiful um, Summer Meadow, um, not Summer Meadows, the delightful Daisy, stamps and dies down the side. But can you see how she's used the rustic wall stencil in the background? And she's stenciled it on there and popped a little bit of glitter over the top. I think that's glistening ice. Oh, there's no, it looks like glistening ice, that one. But it's such a pretty card and I love how she's done all the mats and layers on there as well. So literally all she's done is die cut it out and taken a section out the middle. So dead, dead easy to do, but it looks so, so well. You were all spotting these new sentiment dies as well. I knew that you were going to. These are on their way, but not quite yet. Again, good old delays. <laughs> but they will be available very, very soon. Okay. The next one, this is a one from Barbara. Oh, I need to put a little jewel in the middle of that one. It's fallen out. 
but you can see how pretty this one is. So this is the Decagona again. She's created frames with these. She's done a shape card blank and she's done her mats and layers as well. Really, really pretty. Okay. Next one, this is Galinis. So she's done um, pink and yellow on this one. Really, really pretty, really summery. And we've got the beautiful, um, the background here. So this is the Summer Meadows paper pad. We've then got the gorgeous, delightful daisy flowers here that she's really layered up and she's used a little um, fancy decagon die in the background there too. But these are awesome because again, the dies that all go from eight by eight in size down to one inch. So the fancy ones go down in half inch increments. The basic ones go down in quarter inch increments. What that means is that you are going to be able to do all of your mats and layers dead, dead easily, dead effectively, but they work for your eight by eight cards, your six by six, your five by five. So pretty much any square combination, you are going to be able to use these dies on. Then the next one here is from Ruth. So she's used the watercolour washers paper pad here to get these beautiful, beautiful new flowers. Um, not new flowers, it's the Rose Mallow, sorry. Um, the beautiful flowers, just built those up and then she's used that fancy decagon to create that gorgeous card shape. And I'm absolutely loving this shape. I think it would make a brilliant easel card as well. I'm just going to have a drink out of my tea because my... I feel like I'm losing my voice a bit. I'm going a bit croaky. <laughs> but you can see how gorgeous that one is too. So let me pop these over just to one side over here. Give me two seconds. Tidy as we go, tidy as we go. That's what I'm trying to do this, this year. I'm trying to keep my craft room tidy. It is very difficult though, I have to say. But we'll see how we get on with that New Year's resolution, eh? Okay, so I've got some cards now to show you using the fancy rectangles too and the fancy squares too, okay? Really, really pretty designs again. So this one is... This one's been done with the fancy rectangles. So you can see it's a lovely, lovely shaped card, really pretty. You've got these lovely little like inverted corners here and you've got the beautiful rounding of the edges too. So these are gonna be perfect with all of the, um, the, the other kind of stamped dies, papers. You're gonna use these all the time. Just seeing a comment come in there from Laura Jane. When are the basic nesting dies back in stock? They, are, they will be back in stock next week, actually. They're literally on the way over at the moment. So next week, they should be back in. I think they're due in the beginning of February. So yeah, next week, they should be here. Okay, this one here is using the Fancy Squares 2 die. So you can see a really pretty card. Again, creating that shaped card blank, adding your bling on there, using your mats and layers as well. They just work absolutely perfectly. Another one here, again, using the fancy rectangles, okay? And you can see how fabulous that then looks, how you've got all of your rectangles on there and just matte and layered up. So Ruth's actually used the new fancy rectangles on here and she's also used the basic rectangles die as well to do her mats and layers in the center. The next one that we've got is the one from Barbara, okay? So Barbara has created, I love this, this is like, full-on bling and sparkle. I really hope the camera is capturing this. So she's created a glittery frame with our glass slipper glitter. And then she's used some of our Lumiere glitter in the background. And do you know what? This is actually fascinating me. I'm trying to work out if she's used two colors or one because the different angle I'm kind of looking at it from, are you picking that up on the camera? Like I look at it one way and it looks really, really teal and blue. And then I look at it another and it looks really purple. Really pretty card, that one. Like that one. Okay. Then this one, this is gorgeous. This is one of Barbara's again. And she's used the, um, the vellum to create the flowers here. She's used the gorgeous little bling box for the middle of her flowers. You can see we've thought this all out. They all match in perfectly. And then she's used the gorgeous fancy rectangles too for going around the edge there. Okay. And she's added lots of glitter just onto the edges of our mats and layers. Then the next one that we've got is this gorgeous card from Ruth. So Ruth's used the uh, basic Decagon in the background. And just to show you, this is really hard on an overhead, but the Decagon stands really nicely as a card base because it's got that totally flat edge, okay? And then she's used the fancy squares too to create some frames in the middle. So I can see a couple of questions coming in asking about what weight of card you use. 
for when you're making your own card blanks. To be honest, I buy the Craft UK 8x8 card blanks and I cut them up. <laughs> so they are 300 GSM, so that's the weight that I use. But I just, I just use my basic square card blanks and then just cut them up. So then I know if my card's smaller than that card front, it's going to fit in the envelope, if that makes sense. But to be honest, I tend to just make a box for my cards. So if I'm making a box, I tend to use the, um, the Crafter's Companion Ultimate scoreboard and I just quickly make a box. Or if I'm posting, what I have started doing, and I did this actually with all my Christmas cards, is I just sent them in, in like a bubble, do you know like the Jiffy bubble bags that we send the orders out in? I just sent them in those and they all arrived fine, absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, that's what I use to post them. Okay, so this is, again, this is like magic. The way the glitter's changing colour. They are definitely some of our glitters on the website. So the previous one was the Lumiere. And this one, I'm trying to think of the name and it's really annoying me. It's the chunky kind of, it's like, it looks white in the pot, but it's got all different colours in there. It's not Ice Princess, it's the other one. I think it might be called Snow Queen. I think, but double check that one on the website. Okay. The next one that we've got is another one from Ruth. Okay, and this is using that fancy squares to die again. And you can see how she's created this amazing background. She's used one of our stencils and then she's used the beautiful winter flowers just to dot these around the um the frame. Okay, and you can see how creating frames as well with these dies, they work so so well. The next one is uh, this is really cool. This is one of Ruth's, okay. So she's used the Fancy Squares 2 dies, okay? And what she's done is created her shape card blank, obviously. Then she's done a little bit of stenciling with that rustic wall stencil in the background. And then she's used some of the smaller dies from the middle. And I actually think sometimes when you've got a, like a, a nesting die set, you forget about the small ones in the middle. But look at how nice that looks to do your mats and layers. So she's just put... Um, like one of each of the bigger of, of the smaller frames across the card sorry and then she's popped a flower in the middle of each of them and that just works so so well doesn't it such a simple idea but it works brilliantly sorry i'm trying to read the comments as i go here as well so pauline jarvis is asking any chance of box dies for our eight by eight cards to put them in right we have actually looked into this pauline and it is basically not as straightforward <laughs> as we first thought so um Eight by eight, it would be too large to go through your A4 die cutting machine. She would, you would basically need a bigger die cutting machine to to be able to produce your own boxes. So we are looking at potential other options, and hopefully we'll have something soon. Okay. So the next one is a one from Glynis. Again, love this card. Super super pretty. So she's used all pinks and purples. She's used the delightful daisy flowers just in the background and then she's used the, um, the foliage just dotted around the background there too. So you can see how well that all, um, that all works together. The next one, this one is Barbara again. And Barbara's used that fancy rectangles too die she's created all of her mats and layers in the background and then she's used the beautiful rose mallow and added a little ribbon and a bow in the corner okay and then the next one is from ruth okay and ruth has used those beautiful um rectangles too and she's used the rose mallow and she's literally all she's used on this card right is some white card some azalea card and some azalea paper to create a flower that's literally it white embossing powder and a little bit of glitter but you can see how stunning that then looks how it all comes together really really well okay so i'm going to pop that to one side let me pop some photos in of the finish of oh should i go for the collection yeah let's go for the collection finished cards there we go okay so you can see we've kind of gone for spring colors with these really pretty pastels which are what we know that you love to craft with Okay, I'm going to pop these, I'm just going to put these over to one side. Just give me two seconds. You can hear me wheeling about on my chair there. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration just to show you how these work. Now, if you've missed the start of the live where I've gone through the binder and all such like, I'm going to pop the live onto the page after today's video has ended. 
and I'll also pop it onto our YouTube channel as well. So please don't panic, you're not going to miss out. It will be on there, so you can watch it back whenever you, whenever you like. Okay, I am coming back now, sorry. I went to turn my die cutting machine on and realised I hadn't plugged it. There we go. Whew. Okay then. So. You have seen all of the awesome offers that we have got going on. Um, we've got, seriously, I can see so, so many of you asking for different products this year. We have honestly got so much coming this year. It is so, so exciting and kind of going through the full plan for the year. There is some incredible things coming. So please do just bear with us at the moment. Right, okay. Should I show you another photo of a finished card sample? I feel like we need to make the most of this photography. So, so you can see how we've got that gorgeous card as well there. Done with the fancy rectangles too. Super, super pretty. Okay. So I'm going to pop the camera back onto me now. There we go. Oh, it's bleaching me again. Look, I'm looking really bright. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay. No idea at all. Right then, so I'm going to show you how to make a card. I'm going to be using the Delightful Daisy stamp and die set. Now, because today kind of isn't about the kind of the, the stamping and the die cutting and all such like, I've actually got some flowers that I've already glittered and cut out. So I'll show you how to shape those first, I think. And then I will get on and show you how I'm going to make the card up. Okay, so we've got loads of different... Uh, I've basically just took the Summer Meadows paper pad and just kind of cut a load of things out oh nicola's asking <laughs> about the photographs i don't actually do the photographs i'm i'm rubbish you can always tell the instagram stories just just have a little look <laughs> you'll see i'm not great at photos a ring light definitely helps which is what i've got set up in front of me get your lighting right but we actually have someone that does all the photography of the cards and everything for us now which is fantastic Okay then, so I'm going to pop the overhead camera on um, and yes, I'm going to get crafting now. So let me just pop this on. There we go. Okay then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off, I'm going to grab, uh, what am I going for? Right, I'm going to do the shaping of the flowers first. So basically what I've done is I've taken the big daisy, which is this one, from the Delightful Daisy stamp set and I've stamped and embossed it in opaque bright white super fine okay and I've done that onto one of the Summer Meadows papers so I've actually chosen one that's like do you know, like the blue watercolour type wash one okay and I've done this three times what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go around with my finger and just shape the petals a little bit so just give them a little bit of a curl okay so we just keep working round like so, and then we're going to give that a little, I like to give them like a little scrunch, you know, like I pull all the petals up like this and then give them like a little, just a little scrunch. Just think that works quite nicely. Okay, so we're going to work our way around, just popping this onto here. Okay, I'm just thinking as well, should we give away a binder at the end of, um, at the end of this live? I'll tell you what, if everyone, if what we'll do is we'll go back through the comments and I'll randomly choose someone to win a binder at the end of this live, okay? So we'll do a binder and I will pop some little storage pockets in there as well um, so that you can make sure that you've got everything nicely kept together, okay? So if you leave a comment on the live video, um, I'll go back through and at the end of the live we'll pick someone to win a binder and some of the bits and pieces to go in it too, okay? Right then, so we've just shaped those. So all I've done is kind of pulled it up and then done my little whole scrunchy thing, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Art Glitter Dries Clear Glue to stick this together. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit, um, I'm gonna pop my fine tip on the end of here. Sorry, this is a brand new bottle of glue and it's been stood in here. Let me pop the tip in, there we go. Right, so what we're going to do is we'll pop that over there. Just pinged the pin out there. 
Put a little bit of glue just in the middle. And I use this glue for pretty much everything. I use it to stick my bling stones on. If it's on my desk, I use it for matting and layering. I use it for all sorts. It is a really good, really nice, strong glue. The key is to make sure that you're not using too much of it. Like it sets really, really kind of hard and it sets quite fast as well. So make sure that you're just not kind of overusing the glue would be my little top tip with that one. Okay, so a few little dots in the middle. And then pop that one down there. Okay, so just give that a good little press down. And then you can see how that's all nicely then come together. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my bling boxes. I use these so, so much, okay? So I'm going to use, should we use the pearl ones? I feel like that's a little bit different, isn't it, to using the jewels? Okay, let's see if I can get the lid off. Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm going to do like a little, should do like a little cluster. Just, I'm making this card up as we go along here, by the way, everyone. Just kind of, just crafting away my own little world. I think we'll put three of those like in the middle like that and then we'll put some smaller ones around the outside. How does that sound? Okay, so we're going to pop three little dots of glue in the middle. I'm going to go on the bunch for my tweezers now. I have a better pair of tweezers than these ones I've got in my hand. Isn't it weird how when you use your tools, you know which tools you like, don't you? These are the ones. There we go. Right, so I'm going to use my tweezers just to pop these just into the centre, like so. Okay, so it's going to go onto there. It's going to go there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little tiny blob of glue just around the edge there. And then I'm going to use some more of the smaller ones. This is what I like about these boxes because you get so many different colours. Uh, not so many different colours, sorry, so many different sizes, you really can kind of mix and match and build up your own little centres for your flowers. Okay, so you can see how we've then added those into the middle of the daisy, like so. So what I would do is I would just kind of, I would leave that to dry for a little bit and then give the flowers a little bit more of a fluff. So just kind of fluff the leaves up, a little, the petals up a little bit, okay? Oh, Mandy's just asking, can you buy the paper pads? Yeah, the Summer Meadows paper pad is in stock on the website. So yeah, hop over and have a look. Everything that I'm using today, apart from the dies, okay, obviously they're not available yet because they're launching with the binder, but everything else is on the website now. So please do hop on over and have a little look on there, okay? So I'm going to pop that one to one side, okay? And we're going to build up some other flowers. So I'm just kind of going to show you a few different flower shaping techniques today okay this is totally kind of i'm just making this up as i go along this card okay so it's very much like how i just crafted my craft room so what i'm going to do is take my the next flower so this is again is from the delightful daisy stamp set i'm just holding it in the middle and just giving it a little pinch down the center okay so you've just got to give that a little pinch all the way around. Okay, and then we're going to pop a little blob of glue just into the middle of here, like so. Then we're going to pull the petals up. Okay. Oh, trust me, Shauna, we have got so many bling boxes coming your way this year. There's going to be bling boxes on, on bling boxes. <laughs> There's so many different colours coming. So I'm sure there will be one that you absolutely love on its way this year. Okay, so we're going to lay these down. So what I've done is done like a little twist, twisted it around a little bit and just stuck them together. A little bit of glue in the centre, okay? And I'm just using my tweezers just to press it down. Should we go, should we go pearl or should we go bling for this one? I think we might go bling, you know. So I'm going to go for one of these AB ones. So if I put the AB... Oh, this is really hard to show you on my craft mat, isn't it? But basically, the clear ones just look like clear silvery jewels. The AB ones have got that amazing kind of like um, Aurora Borealis multicolour coating on there. 
okay so i'm going to pop one of those into the middle of there don't forget to keep leaving your comments and i will pick a winner at the end of this live to win a storage binder and some bits and pieces to go in it okay right so i'm gonna that's that little flower made up so i'm gonna pop that one to one side and i'm gonna do the next one oh it's so nice to be back live on facebook on a wednesday i do like this i am gonna do the stamp alongs again by the way it's just been a little bit honestly january's just been so like full on it's been ridiculously just ridiculously busy with things kind of not arriving on time it's just been a little bit chaotic but hopefully i will get organized and we will get the stamp alongs back soon i mean i could just come on and make a card but then you wouldn't you wouldn't know until afterwards what i'm using and i don't know that that's the same but anyway let me know in the comments would you would you like that or uh, would you prefer the stamp alongs which are a bit more organized aren't they but see it takes me a little bit longer because I have to write up the instructions and write up the blog post and everything. So it just takes a little bit a little bit more organising that one. Okay. So I've um just added this one on here. Okay, so again, just layering them up. So literally all I've done is popped a blob of glue in the middle, twisted it and stuck it on the top. Okay. So I'm gonna add another blob of glue in the middle and then a jewel. Okay, and that's that one done. So I'm going to pop that one to one side. And I'm basically, I'm building up all of these, um, the flowers, and I'm just going to pop them to one side. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of stick it all together at the end. Okay, if that makes sense. Just give the flowers time to dry. Okay. So, do you know what? I, I stamped these and die put them in and I was like, ooh, but the back of those is quite nice, isn't it? So what I'm going to do... I'm going to do a little bit of pinch down the middle of this one as well. Okay, and then we're going to do a little curl on this one. So you can always do them in different ways, okay? So, so easy to do. Then I'm going to put a little bottle of glue in the middle of there, and I'm going to stick that on the top. But I'm going to give it like a little twist, okay? So just twist it round, like so. And then I'm going to use my pearl in the middle okay and stick that in the middle there and do you know what with crafting if you do something you're like i'm not that keen on that it really it doesn't matter all you can do is just stamp another one and try again um so i think that's the kind of that's the whole thing with crafting isn't it you kind of it's not about being perfect or aiming for perfection it's just aiming for something that you really like and, and creating something that's kind of personal to you and whoever you give this card to they are going to absolutely love it because you have crafted it with your own with your own hands and it's kind of your time and your thought that goes into it which is so so important okay so i'm going to just pinch down the middle of this one so i'm literally just using my finger and thumb and do you know what i've moved a phone into this room and i've forgotten to turn it off before the facebook live so we'll just ignore that going on in the background okay so we're just going to layer up the flower okay and we're going to place that in the middle and then we're going to pop a little pearl in the center of there so again just a little pearl just in the middle and then we're going to stick that down and again for sticking your bling boxes arc glitter dries clear glue with your fine tip on the end absolutely perfect yes it takes a couple of seconds to grab once it's grabbed it really does hold on there okay so i'm going to pop that to one side there then i just die cut like a few random ones out as well just some smaller ones i'm also just to kind of fill the gaps in when we come to making this one up as well i know lots of you are asking about my tweezers do you know what i've got no idea where i got these from i might have even potentially got them with a gel nail kit to be honest um so yes they're just pointed tweezers but i quite like them so these are the ones that i use but yeah they're just like i just find them easy okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to layer two of these together like so okay and then i'm going to pop a little bit of glue in the middle of there and i'm going to place that down and give it a little twist So 
So, then should we go? No, we're gonna go bling. Ooh. We'll go bling because they've just jumped out the box at me there. So we'll pop a couple of little, little bling stones in the middle there. Okay. Put them there. Okay. So we're gonna just pop to that side and then we're gonna do the next one. Oh, I know, Diane, I am so sorry that we are not shipping to Europe at the moment. It is, honestly, what is going on at the moment with Kinda Shipping is just an absolute nightmare. Um, so yes, until kind of Brexit and everything's ironed out and until we actually have a service that we can use running, <laughs> would be very useful. Um, but yeah, as soon as we have any updates on anything like that, of course, I will post on the page and I will post in the group. That one is seriously just beyond my control. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that one into the middle there. Okay. So I'm gonna pop some little pearls in the middle of these little yellow die cutting machines. Yes, Lorraine, I will be doing another magazine. There will be two this year, actually. Um, but again, please, everyone, don't ask me dates, because <laughs> at the moment I really do not know. Um, so yes, there will be two magazines coming out this year. Okay. Again, sign up to that email newsletter. That is seriously the best way to find everything out. And I do always put sneak peeks on Facebook, don't I, before we have a launch. So do try and make sure that no one misses out. Okay, so pop the little pearls in the middle of there. Okay, and then we're gonna put that over there and we're gonna move these. Oh, look at this, my mat's in the right state now. Glue all over it. I'm so proud of myself. I've had this mat for months, you know, and I've kept it so clean. I'm, I'm like so proud of myself with this one. <laughs> okay then, so what I've done next is I've taken I'm hoping that I've taken, yes, I've taken a card blank. Okay, so an eight by eight card blank. Let me just grab my plastic pocket. There we go, okay. And I've taken the fancy Decagon, uh, the basic Decagon die, sorry. So I haven't taken the first one, I've like taken the second one in, okay, and I've die cut out a base card. So I've literally just stuck that on to my card and run that through my die cut machine. So what I'm going to do is I actually want to die cut another one of these just from some white card. Okay, so I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm sure it was this size that I did. Yes, it was. Need some white card. Just bear with me two seconds, everyone. Should have some in here. I've been moving everything around. I'll do it out of pearl. I'll be fine. Oh, I should. Now here's a thing. Should we do it out of some mirror card? Oh, I'm absolutely going for the mirror card. Look, bear with me two seconds while I grab some. Right, I'm gonna go because it's quite pink. I'm gonna go for the rose quartz mirror. But I might go for matte mirror instead, just to make it look a little bit, a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna. Hopefully find my plates for my Gemini. We've got my base plate, plastic shim. Okay, I'm sure that's all I use for this. Okay then. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna take some mirror card. Okay. And then we're gonna take the deck of gone. We're gonna pop that on the top and pop that on there. I'm going to run that through. I really hope that my minging plates don't mark that mirror. We'll soon find out. Okay. Hello to everyone that is joining me. Oh my word, we have been live for now an hour and 20 minutes. I've done a lot of talking today, haven't I? Okay. Cut through perfectly. You can see how we've then got. That lovely shape, die cut, ready to go on the front of our card. Okay, so we're going to take our card blank that's at the front. 
Okay, I'm going to stick this down under here. Let me find where the fold is on this card to start with. Okay, I'm going to place that onto there and stick that down. So to do that, I'm going to use a little bit of Kalal All Purpose. Now, I love this glue, as you all know, but what I do find with this is, and it's because it's got a solvent in, where if you get it on mirror card, it can actually strip the top coating off. So if you're using this with your mirror card, please do be super duper careful with it. Okay, so just a tiny, tiny bit around the edge I'm loving our mirror card by the way as well have you seen the matte mirror and the glitter oh, it's absolutely stunning we've got it in six colors on the website but they're just really nice kind of bright vibrant colors okay so I'm gonna stick that onto there like so Do you know what? it feels like ages since I've made a card I made, I did make some Christmas cards. I did some Christmas cards this year. Okay, so I'm going to just hold that still. Okay. Card blank a little bit. I think where I've had it stored, it's a little bit bent, but never mind. Right. So you can see how that's all starting to come together. I just need that to grab. There we go. Okay then. So, it's my base card there, so it's going to go that way up. And then we're going to take, I've taken a piece of the Summer Meadows paper, okay, and I've die cut that out with the um, Decagon die. Really had to think then, okay, and I'm going to use, I went, I did steal some of this from next door. I don't know if it might be a little bit too much though. <laughs> Because I used this on all my Christmas cards, believe it or not. And I made some wreaths this Christmas. So I got, um, just try and get this off, sorry. I did um, some wreaths, but I ordered some like, laser cut snowflakes. I got them off Etsy actually, and I covered them in this. And it was just the most amazing thing ever. Really, really pretty. So I don't know whether to use a little bit of that just around the edge, or it might be a little bit too much. I don't know what else I had planned for this card. Let me have a little look. I might just do a little bit of glass slipper. No, I'm going to go for it. Let's go for it. Let's live on the edge. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, two seconds. I'm just trying to find a bit of scrap paper to use. So sorry about the phone in the background, everyone. I completely forgot. It's because I've just moved it in here this week to see. Use that. It's got a mark on me. Use this little bit of paper. Right, so what I'm going to do is just take my dry clear glue. Just going to run along the edge of my card, of my little mat and layer, like so. Just going to use this. I'm just doing a very, very fine line. Okay. And then I'm going to use, this is, this is my favourite glitter. This is silver gilt. I am obsessed with this. Look at it. It is just so pretty and so sparkly and so chunky. I absolutely love it. So we brought this out with one of the Christmas collections last year, actually. Okay, I'm loving how everyone's getting so involved in this stock. It's going to be like, there's going to be cheers from Dragonville Industrial Park when this stock arrives, let me tell you all. Okay. So, I'm just going to edge around the side of here. Like so. So all I'm doing is I'm just using the um the glue with the fine tip and I'm just holding onto my card and then I'm just using my glue and just very gently dragging along the edge. Doesn't matter if that line's not straight, I'm really not bothered at all. I'm just gonna keep dragging it down and just kinda just getting a bit of glue on there really. Nothing too technical. Look at that. Look at the sparkle. I absolutely love it so much. This is silver gilt. Okay. So I'm going to pop that to one side. And we'll stick that on in a moment with some um, with some foam. This is going to expand, isn't it, when I put it back in the jar. I can just tell. Just a little bit. It's not too bad, is it? 
There we go. Okay then. So, let me see if I've got another bit of some scrap paper. I'll just put this piece over because it's had some labels on. <laughs> okay then. So, we're going to use, um, I've got two white circles and I've just die cut these um, just from plain white card. Uh, not circles, they're decagons. And I'm going to use a chisel tip glue pen just around the edge. So this is our fabulous chisel tip glue pen. If you haven't used this, I would highly recommend that you pop one of these into your basket because they are fab. They are really nice and strong for holding all of your glitter and glue. Okay, uh, for all of your glitter, sorry. It's a really nice, strong adhesive. So all I'm going to do is I tend to hold the pen at like a 45, about a 45 degree angle and then just drag towards me like so and that then creates this little little border just along the edge the one here. I'm going to turn that round and then I'm going to take my glass Glass slipper glitter. Okay, I'm gonna work round. Glue pens are in stock, Haley. Yes, they are all on the website. The multi buy is still on as well, so you get four pens, I think, in the multi buy. So that's that one. I'm going to keep going. I'm gonna do some more edging with my glitter. I'm sorry, I know it's not the most. No, that's all clung to the label. Bad move, clung. Bad move. Okay. So I'm going to do exactly the same again. Next decagon. Oops. So I'm just going all the way around the edge, like so. Hmm. Trying to figure out where I've been. It's really difficult. I don't think I've done that bit. Oh, we will have got a right view of my roots there. <laughs> Okay then, so I'm going to take my glass slipper glitter again and just work around like so. Okay, so this is where it's decagon. So again, this is launching very, very soon. I'm going to mat and lay that one onto there. Okay, I think I might just start and build this card up just to kind of see where I am. I've got a fancy decagon as well, so I think. We might put a little bit of glitter around the edge of this one too. I don't know what that looks for. Okay, so again for edging, this is the same. So it's the same for your fancy shapes as it is with your more complicated, uh, with your basic shapes. So basically, all I do is I just take my chisel tip glue pen, hold it at like a 45 degree angle, and then I just drag it around the edge of the shape. Like so, and it is seriously, it's so easy. Like, I think sometimes crafting is overcomplicated, and it really it doesn't need to be at all. If it doesn't go right, you can always die cut another, or you can always stamp another and and try again. But you know, it's it really is crafting should be fun, and that is what I am completely all for. Okay, so I think that I've got. And this all done that looks like that's all done around the edge there and then I'm going to just cover with my glass slipper glitter all the way around the edge okay and again these are all of our sparklicious glitters that I'm using okay so then we've got I've got a little die cut here. I'm going to leave those to one side because I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. So let's try and build up our base card and then go from there. Okay, so I'm going to use some foam pads obviously because I do love a little bit of dimension on my project as everyone knows. So our fabulous foam pads if you haven't seen them actually. So this is mine that I've obviously been using but they come on a roll. Okay, so you get you can get them in either two mil or three mil. I use the two or three mil ones, sorry. But they come in a pizza box like this, and that roll literally fills the box. Okay, you get so so many 
foam pads on a roll. It is incredible, okay? And they are just brilliant for just, just using for everything. I love them. Okay then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just mat and layer this up. So I'm gonna pop that onto the top of there. It's probably a little bit hard for you to see at home, but that pink matte mirror really does shine through. So that's the rose quartz matte mirror, if anyone wants to know what colour I am using. I'm just going to pop some foam pads on the back. Oh, it's been so nice crafting with everyone today. I have to say, thoroughly enjoy this. Okay, so I'm going to pop this to one side. I'll quickly whip the backs off. These are like finger lift foam pads as well, so it just, it makes it so, so easy to craft with. Like, seriously, they are just fabulous. And again, who wants to be spending the time peeling the backs off foam pads when you're crafting? We want to be doing the exciting things, don't we? Okay, so I'm going to position that down into my card, like so. That's that one down onto there, okay? And then we're going to do the same with these white wires. Now, what I might do, actually, I'm going to stick these two together because I quite like, I quite like, like, just doing white on white cards as well, which I think work really, really well. So I've just grabbed my dried clear glue just to stick these together. So you could use either your dry is clear or your kalal all purpose either would work okay and then we're going to use a little bit of foam pads around the edge there we go okay and i'm just going to whip the backs off these There we go. So just work our way around like so. And then we're going to pop that under here. Don't forget, I am going to give a binder away as well. So keep leaving your comments and I will pick someone to win at the end of this one, at the end of this little live. Okay. So I've built that one up. I'm going to pop my fancy deck of gone. Do I like it that way or do I like it that way? I think I like it that way. So we're going to stick the fancy decagon onto here, like so. So a few foam pads just on the back. Then we'll quickly peel the backs off this card. Eee, that phone's getting really annoying. I'm so sorry, everyone. There we go. We'll get an efficient answer in it next door there, you can tell. Okay, then. So we're going to pop... This one, what way did I say this way? I like, I like it this way, so we'll stick it down there. There we go, okay? So you can see how our fabulous um, mats and layers are all nicely building up now. So, do you know what? I'm going to go for it with this, this layer to go on the top. I'm going to edge it with a little bit of that, um, with a little bit of silver gilt. Before I do that though, I'm going to just pop my foam pads on. Now normally I would put my silver gilt on and leave it to dry but obviously because i'm kind of live on facebook and everything i haven't really got the i haven't really got the time to do that so what i'm going to do oh that's an awesome idea i've just seen a comment aisha says the card chloe's doing now would be brilliant with the bees yes it would wouldn't it aisha that would be fabulous i am loving seeing all of your projects in the um it's now the chloe's creative cards group i've changed the name from Stamps by Chloe to Chloe's Creative Cards. Just because I feel like it's less confusing then, isn't it? If it's all the same. It's now the Chloe's Creative Cards group. But there are some incredible projects in there as well. Some brilliant videos in there too. There is just some amazing content, to be honest. So yeah, seriously, if you are not a member, hop over and join and everyone is just so so um so helpful so friendly and helpful it is a lovely group okay so this nesting die that i'm using chris is the decagon okay so it's not available yet but it will be soon it's like a right little sneak peek today 
Okay, so I'm gonna pop that back into the jar. I love how I have like all that uh, all this paper around me and I just end up using like the tiniest little scraps. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stick I keep getting really confused with where the top of my card blank is. Okay, so There we go. So I'm gonna pop that one down onto there. Like so, and then we've got our lovely flowers. So we can actually just start kind of arranging these onto the cards. I'm gonna build these up like so. Now ordinarily, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I really like to use um, 3D glue gel. Sorry, I really had to think then. 3D glue gel for sticking my car, my um, flowers and things on. But I haven't actually got any with me today. Basically, I've been crafting at home. Um, well, I say crafting, it's just been kind of mucking on really. I haven't actually made anything. <laughs> but... It just works so, so well for sticking them on. So I've got stuff at home and then I've got stuff in at work here. So it's just all a bit mixed up at the moment, but never mind. I'll put a little bit of glue onto there. So I'm just going to use, I'm, I'm just going to use this dry clay glue. It will stick them. It's just obviously going to take a little bit longer. Um, again, there's no rules in crafting, is there? There's no right or wrong way to anything. Okay, I think that's so important to remember when you are crafting. Right, so. Put a bit of glue on there. Then I've got these smaller flowers that I love. So I'm going to just start and tuck some of these in the background. So I'm just going to have to be a little bit more careful where I put my glue with these. Because obviously if the centre's not in contact with something, it's not going to stick. Just going to build these up. So these are all the ones that we actually just made in the lie earlier. Okay. I would use my hot glue gun, yes, Julie. Very good suggestion, but I do have a very good burn rate with my hot glue gun, so that has been taken away from me, I'm afraid. I don't you I don't want you get lo let loose with that anymore. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pop that there. And then I'm gonna pop that one there. We'll pop a little bit of glue on here. Okay. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit of glue just onto there. A little bit on the corners. Okay. Like so and then I've got this little plaque it's got the sentiment on it so I'm going to stick this little piece on flat I think the glue okay stick that flat there and then I'm going to take a little sentiment just to go on there so I'm going to firstly I'm going to de-glitter my mat Okay, I've got a lovely mess in the corner down there. Okay, and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to stamp. What shall we have? Have a beautiful birthday. How about that? Have a beautiful birthday. I'm liking that sentiment. So I've got one of my acrylic blocks here. This is actually one of the factory sample ones that I'm using. So my lines aren't quite as engraved as yours are on your block. Um, but yes, these are incredible. Again, all on the website. Okay, I'm going to pop that one. Oh, no. This is the thing with these little stamps. I think it's good to have your... The grid on the acrylic block. Because um, that then... Just makes it a little bit easier for lining up. So have a beautiful birthday. So I'm going to use um, a little, I want an antiseptic bag, which I've got in here. Okay. And then 
By the way, I know that the camera shakes when I stamp. Um, so I am looking into that. I'm trying to see if we can get something that will go on the ceiling to stick the phone up. But I've not come across anything yet. Okay, I'm going to use my Wow embossing ink pad. This is my clear embossing ink pad. And then I'm going to just quickly show you how to re-ink your ink pad because it's so easy. So Wow re-inker, it's a little ball table. Literally hold it upside down. Roll it over your ink pad as much or as little as you think you need. That's it. Done. And then that just, you can keep that and use that another time. So it really is a fab little, little investment into your crafty stash. Okay. So I'm going to place that down and press. And we'll take that away. And then I'm going to just use metallic silver super fine as a little bit of embossing. I am using this piece of patterned paper because it is marked on the other side. Please don't think that I'm wasting it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my heat gun. I've got all the heat up. I'm gonna just heat it off camera. I have an awful feeling that if I do it over here, it's gonna knock the camera over. The way I've got the wires, so. Right, so that's nicely heated up now. Okay, and then I'm going to um, just draw around the edge with my chisel tip glue pen again. I'm going to use this one here. Sorry, I'm trying to like read the comments as I go. Maybe I should just ignore the comments and focus on the craft. <laughs> I don't want to all feel like I'm ignoring you, though. I am seeing them all come in. Just I'm reading one and it's jumping up. <laughs> up the page there. Okay, so, okay, don't forget I am picking a winner for a binder at the end, so please do keep leaving your comments, okay, I'll pick someone to win this card as well, we'll have two, right, we'll give a card away and we'll give a binder, okay then, so, there we go, and then I'm going to take some more foam pads, just just a couple this time, just in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna just tuck that underneath. Beautiful birthday. Okay, so you can see how that's all come together. And then do you know what else I quite like to do? I quite like to just take some little jewels. Okay, and just dot these all the way around the edge. So just put little tiny dots of PVA glue. Again, I'm so sorry about the phone, everyone. Okay, and I'm going to take some little, these are the pink jewels from the bling box. So these are like the paler pink, really pretty, love them. Literally, just use these all the time. Believe it or not, I do. I do like pink cards in case you in case you haven't noticed. So I just kind of like this is an added extra. Obviously, you don't need to do this. Doesn't desperately need this, but you know, I do. I do love adding that little bit of bling and that little bit of sparkle. Okay, so I'm going to just dot these in around the flowers. Because we know I like my cards to be a, a little bit extra, that little bit over the top. <laughs> I want to get in pride of place on that mantelpiece. Okay. Then, when we turn that round, that would then be your finished card, okay? So really pretty, that's using the new Decagon dies and the fancy Decagons, and I've also used the Bling Box, I've used the Summer Meadows Paper Pad, I've used the Delightful Daisy Stampin' Die, 
and I've used the silver gilt and glass that they go with there and I've also used, I don't know whether you can pick it up on the camera but I can see it, You've, I've also used a little bit of our rose quartz mask mirror card as well, okay? So I'm going to grab my iPad in, let me pop the screen, let me turn it round, okay? And there we go. Okay, you can you can see me again now. So let me just pop that in there. There we go. Okay then. So thank you all so much for joining me. I'm gonna pop this video onto the page and I will also pop it onto um to YouTube as well. Um just before we um after the after the live obviously. So if you are watching live and you have left a comment, I'm gonna pick some winners. So if you watch the video back, you will be able to find out all about the fabulous uh, binder that we'll be launching very, very soon. If you haven't done so already, please do hop over to the website, sign up to the newsletter. I feel like I've got glitter on my eye there. It's dazzling me back. <laughs> hop over to the website, chloescreativecards.co.uk and sign up to our email newsletter. You will literally then never miss a launch. We will let you know when everything's happening okay and if you just give me two seconds i'm gonna have a little read through the comments and we will pick some winners now before i do that i'm just gonna give you a little reminder of the fabulous storage binder okay so in case you missed the start of the video we've got the awesome new storage binder launching very soon at chloe's creative cards now uh everything will be available individually but i'm just going to give you a quick walk through the bundles again so one of the bundles will be the starter kit bundle. This one will include the binder, one pack of your plastic wallets, one pack of your stamp storage sheets, and one pack of your magnetic storage sheets, okay? That one will be $28.99, and that will save you over 20% against buying the items individually. If you love the new dies, you can get a pack of four of the dies for $79.96, which will save you 20% against buying them individually because they're all $24.99 each, okay? Now, if you're just like, I can't decide and I really do need it all, you can go for the fabulous binder bundle where you get the binder, you get two packs of the clear plastic wallets, you get one pack of the stamp storage sheet, one pack of the magnetic storage sheets and then you get the four brand new dies as well and that bundle will be 106 pounds that's saving over 25 percent against buying the items individually okay so that is all of the details if you want a really detailed walk through the binder want to know what it's going to hold everything like that please do watch this live video back at the end because i did tell you all about that at the start and you can always just fast forward me as well if you want to you don't have to watch it all okay then so let me just have a little scroll through the comments let me just make sure that they have all loaded on my ipad it's looking like they have okay so right, i'm gonna scroll 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 right so oh no my comments there we go i've come back <laughs> i was thinking no i've scrolled the comments have gone off okay then so the winner of the binder is going to be just check them at the point that we said we were giving the binder away. Let me just work my way back here, making sure that I've got them all up here. Okay then. So the winner of the storage binder is Gillian Adams, who said. I'd love to win one of your binders. Thank you so much for this chance. So Gillian Adams, please do send us either a direct message on Facebook or send an email to info at chloescreativecards.co.uk and we will organise send your prize out. I was just seeing if I had a pen there, just so I can write down the winner. It was Gillian Adams. And Gillian, congratulations, you have won a binder, okay? The next one is for this beautiful card that I've just made, okay? I will let it dry before I send it out, okay? <laughs> so the next one, this one is going to, let me keep scrolling, Janice Rowland. Janice Rowland, congratulations, you have won the card, okay? I'm going to write that one down as well. So 
congratulations, Janice. Well done. You have won this card that I've just made today. I will make sure it's dry before I send it out, okay? <laughs> but yes, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I can't quite believe that we've made it to kind of like two hours nearly live on Facebook. I think my throat, my voice is going a little bit now, but anyway... Thank you all so much for joining me. I'm just trying to have a little read through your comments. Oh, everyone's so lovely on this page. Everyone's saying congratulations. How nice. Thank you all so much for joining me. I will hopefully be back very, very soon here on the Facebook page. Again, as always, we will put an announcement out on the page in the group and send an email whenever I'm going live on Facebook. Okay, so please do um, just keep an eye. Keep an eye on your inbox and we'll let you know when the next one will be. Hopefully you have enjoyed today. Like I say, I really want to get started with the stamp alongs again. It's just kind of doing the organisation and the writing up of the instructions, which quite frankly, I don't like doing. But I do it <laughs> so we can have the free PDF download. Okay, so thank you all so much for joining me. I really hope that you are loving the new storage binder. I would love to know what you are all going to be filling your binder up with. Um, have you got plans to have it in your craft room? Are you excited? And we will, of course, let you know when that is launching. We'll pop an announcement on the page. We'll send emails out. So please, don't worry. You are not going to miss it. Okay, everyone. I think I've kept everyone long enough today. So I will see you all again very, very soon. And thank you for joining me. If you want to have a little hop on over to the website, you can do chloe'screativecards.co.uk. We have got some amazing crafty goodies on there. And of course, the sale is still on where you can save up to 70%. If you want to have a little look back at some previous videos, you can do on the Facebook page. And they're also all up on the YouTube channel. You just need to search for Chloe's Creative Cards. Thank you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye.